Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest, back on our quest to try all the ice cream world has to offer. It is Thanksgiving week, everybody, and to celebrate Thanksgiving week, I was actually able to find Lotus Biscoff bars. Uh, as some of you know, if you travel on planes, I don't know if they have them on trains as well, but absolutely in planes, or at least in my experience on planes, uh, they have uh, these like cookies. I should have tried to find the actual cookies themselves, but this is the ice cream bar version. So this is the cookie and, or I'm sorry, the cookie and cookie butter ice cream bars from Lotus. I don't even know if they make other things as far as ice cream goes has Belgian chocolate and fresh dairy cream. This is for the Calorie Crunches crowd, 310 calories. Where is everybody traveling to this week? Put it in the comments below. Also, we will have a Thanksgiving episode, so look for that later this week. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, uh, we have, you know, I've seen these for a while. I just haven't been able to like actually get a hold of them. Uh, they have them in, Dude. They have them in. Uh, I got these from Target, but Dude. so let's go ahead and jump into it. Who's had these before? Put it in the comments below. Let me know. This is uh, the original cookie butter ice cream with crunchy Lotus Biscoff cookies dipped in Lotus Biscoff cookie butter and Belgian milk chocolate coating. Let's try. Let's try. I'm gonna shop now. Let's go. Not bad. Man. Well. First things first, that cookie butter. Throughout the middle. Man, that is so flavorful. And the um the the Biscoff cookies, like they have like little cookie crumbles on the outside as you can see, like in the in the chocolate. Oh. Man, the combination of those two it just goes so well with this. I do feel like the milk chocolate throws it off a little bit because I don't think the actual cookies have milk chocolate. But I'm not complaining. It's very sweet. I mean, but in a good way in my opinion. It just has like this rich, creamy flavor through the middle that really accentuates all the chocolate and cookie butter. I mean, the cookie butter is probably the most overwhelming part. But the Biscoff cookies on the outside are absolutely there. Man. Wow, wow, flavor. That's a winner. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't sure what to expect of this because oftentimes when companies try to emulate things, I don't, in ice cream form, I don't really think they do that well in my opinion, at least in my experience for the, from the show. This, however, that's a winner through and through. It's got a, a good amount of the Biscoff cookies on the outer shell. The cookie butter throughout the, or uh, yeah, cookie butter ice cream throughout the inside, it just flows all the way through. It's 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 a, it's a lighter, fluffier ice cream, but in a good way. It's not super dense, but it's very um, buttery and uh, sugar forward or like sweet forward. I think it works really really well. If anything, I think I like these better than the actual cookies themselves. I will say though, the only the only one discrepancy I might have is that. It says it has Belgian um, milk chocolate, and obviously it does. I mean, it's just all over the outside. You don't really taste that that much, though, as far as comparatively to the cookie butter and to the Biscoff cookies on the outside. So let's go ahead and give it a rating. Scale of 1 to 100, 10-point grading scale. For what it is, is this a frozen dairy dessert? This is probably a lighter ice cream. I don't know if it's an actual frozen dairy dessert. Just one second. I don't know if this is a frozen dairy dessert or not, but anyway, it's, it's definitely a lighter, fluffier ice cream. 
I think I'm gonna give it like a 95, 96. I'm gonna tell you why. It's 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 very flavor forward. I mean, the, the like I said, the cookie butter is just pow, pow, pow flavor hits you right away. Very smooth and creamy. It flows super well with the Biscoff cookies on the outside. My only real discrepancy is, like I said, the Belgian milk chocolate. It's there, but in their defense, I do feel like if it was an overwhelming flavor, it would kind of take away from the overall product. So, like I said, I'll give it like a 90. I'll give it like a 97. So, let's go like an A-plus range. It's definitely good. I can't give it a 100 because I do feel like the Belgian chocolate was a little lacking. But in general, this is a winner through and through. I don't think you'll be disappointed. You guys go out there and try it out. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Also, let me know how you're doing, what you're doing for Thanksgiving, where you're traveling, and why you're there. What did you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. I say that because it's oftentimes regional or seasonal or limited edition. I know you guys might not be able to get them because I have trouble getting them sometimes. But if you are able to try them, let me know in the comments below in prior videos. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Like I said, I think you guys will really enjoy this one. I was actually nicely surprised. It is. It lives up to the hype. In my opinion, it is absolutely worth it. 97, A+, plus, winner, winner, chicken, ice cream. That'd be disgusting. But anyway, if you know if somebody makes chicken ice cream, let me know, put it in the comments below, and I'll try it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tell your friends, tell your family, check the links below. Come eat ice cream with me every week, and I will. Oh, shout out to Josh the Goat. See you next time.